Hello, I'm Brendan. We've been talking a little bit about writing clean code, and today I'd just like to illustrate one feature of IntelliJ, and really the entire JetBrains suite of IDEs, and that's live templates. Live templates allow us to bind short strings to commonly used Java expressions, and in doing so, allow us to remove some of the ceremony of writing Java. Let's just take a look at how that works. Here we have an array of integers, and ordinarily, to iterate over this array, we'd write a for loop where the bounds are 0 and the length of the array. Right? So there's a simpler way, and we can just type itar tab, and IntelliJ will automatically complete the structure of the loop and allow us to focus really in on the details. So we can see we can hone in on the, the iterator variable and the what we're iterating over. And immediately we can drop into the loop and start writing code. There are a number of these. So if we press Control J, we can open the Live Assistant and you can see a whole list of uh, live templates to memorize. I find it's helpful to just start using them as you go, and it uh, goes into muscle memory. So if we type IFN tab, we can see that, uh, well, the array can't be null, so perhaps we'd like to replace that with the parameter saved instance state. And it's very easy to start using, but the really neat feature is you can create your own. So if you go into settings, and open live templates. You can see here that I've created two for Android. And here we're using Android Studio. So one will log an error message, and the other will uh, create a new handler. And so let's just take a look at one of those. If we type HDLR tab, you can see that my custom live template um, is immediately available to use. So how do we create a custom live template? So if we go into the, uh, the settings menu, we can create our own, or suppose you have one that you'd like to create, perhaps uh, a variation of the if and live template. So let's try if null equals uh, saved instance state tab right and let's just select that block of code go into tools and save as live template so this is a new live template we'll abbreviate it with nif and we'll say this is the reverse if n syntax And so we can go in and edit the text of the template. And here we can just call this uh, some variable, whatever we'd like. And we can edit this variable to have a default value or an expression. And there's a list of expressions that the IDE provides for us. So you can see that you can input um, these expressions capture some contextual information about the surrounding environment. So if we wanted to um, use, say, the class name, or one of the nice ones is Groovy Script. So we can actually insert um, some Groovy code here, and this will allow us to specify a simple or a complex uh, template as we'd like. And um, so let's just... Uh, go with the simple one, and we'll just type END here. And this indicates that uh, we'd like to, the cursor would, would go in the end position once we're all done writing the, the variable. So let's see if this works. So we'll apply this, click OK, and try our new IFN live template, or NF. Null equals some variable, saved instant state, enter, and we're automatically in the body of the conditional. So 
This is simple enough. Um, I'd like to encourage you to create your own. So what I'd like to do, as soon as I encounter a tedious bit of code to write, um, I'd like to capture that in a live template. So you've seen how to create and edit your own custom live templates. What you can also do is log on to GitHub and search for IntelliJ live templates. And there's a few that people have uploaded where they've encountered some repetitive bit of code that they'd like to automate. And what you can do is you can import these to your user folder and start using them immediately. Um, but this is, this is really a call to action. I'd like to encourage you to share your live templates with others. If you're part of an organization that uses coding standards or uh, Java conventions, Live templates are a great way to focus on convention over configuration and really write some, some clean code. Um, so there's a joke. Uh, sometimes the amount of time that it takes to automate a task, uh, minus the amount of time that the automation saves you in the long term, is still longer than the amount of time that it would take to manually do the task each time. Um, but thankfully, with IntelliJ, uh, it's very easy to do, and I think it could save a lot of people a lot of time uh, by sharing that knowledge. And, and so I'll share with you a link below um, how to use custom live templates in depth and um, other screencasts that illustrate the same idea. Um, this is a really widely uh, used and, and highly received feature in the community, and so um, you should check it out. Um, so I'm Brendan. This is Android Studio running on IntelliJ 13.1. And we just took a look at how to use, edit, and uh, write your own live templates. Please stay tuned. I look forward to seeing you next time.